Yes, a modify a Sika belong into one of my friends. You might have seen similar modified Aseka on TikTok or YouTube, where people use them to visit shop and buy various items. The specialty of this car is that it can be remotely controlled and also allows you to watch live videos of its journey. This is made possible by the FPV video system installed on it. Additionally, the box on the car can be opened and closed by the person controlling the RC car. Today, I will briefly explain how to create a modified remote shopping car like this. I am using a Hypogo RC car. Ideally, an RC car of 1 to 10 or 1 to 8 scale works best for this modification. Before we begin building, let's watch a few short videos. For this, you primarily need an RC car equipped with a 6-channel transmitter and receiver. By a 6-channel transmitter, I mean a transmitter and receiver that includes one channel of moving the RC car forward and backward, one channel of steering, and at least four or more additional channels. To achieve this, you may need to purchase an RC car and upgrade its transmitter and receiver. I am using a Dumbo RC transmitter and receiver. Next, you will need a FPV video system. For this, you will require an FPV camera, a video transmitter and FPV googles. I am using an affordable FPV video system that works up to a range of about 500 meters. The purchase links for all these items are provided in description below. Here's a 2-axis camera mount made with 3D printed parts. However, it's not necessary to 3D print this yourself. I will provide a link to purchase a complete kit. I am also using a detachable plastic box and I have 3D printed a few small parts necessary for opening and closing to use a servo motor. All details are available in the description. For this project, I will need 3 SG90 servo motors, one of the box and two for the 2 axis camera mount. Additionally, a PWM controlled horn is used in this setup. Let's look at how to attach the 3D printed camera mount. You can also purchase a 2-axis pan tilt camera mount kit which will make installer easier. In a previously published video, I explained how to make an FPV car. Watching that video will give you a good understanding of the process. Here, connect the pan axis servo motor to channel 4. 
The tilt axis servo motor to channel 5. Attach the FEV camera in this way. Here are the 3D printed parts for a servo driven hitch 3D design used to open and close the box. The steel files for these parts are provided below. Assemble the parts as shown in the video. The servo motor used for this box is connected to channel 5 on the receiver.
connect the FPV camera to the VTS. VTS mean video transmitter. I have also provided a separate video on web article about this process and the links are included below. Additionally, the circuit diagram showing the wiring of all these components is also provided there. Since the VTS tends to heat up significantly, attach a heat sinks to it. Using the search button on the Google's perform an auto search to receive the video preview. Connect the PW signal car horn to channel 3. To take the next level video footage from this RC shopping car, attach an Insta360 camera to the rear. Now let's check if everything is functioning correctly. If you need more details about this, Feel free to leave a comment. You can also use email to reach out. I hope this video helped you learn something new. If you enjoy video like this, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video and share it with others.